Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, bless your name. Oh, God, we bless your name. Thank you, Jesus. We bless your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We bless your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. We bless your name. Oh, God, we thank you. We bless your name, Lord. We bless your name. Hallelujah. We bless your name, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Praise you, Jesus. Well, we praise God. We praise God today. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Oh, praise the name of God. We praise God today. Hallelujah. And we thank God today. Hallelujah. For what the Lord has done. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We praise God today. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, God, we worship and adore you. Hallelujah. We praise you, God. We praise you. Hallelujah. Oh, God, we bless your name. We bless your name. We bless your name. We bless your name. Hallelujah. We bless your name. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, we praise you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. Oh, God, we bless you. Hallelujah. 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 We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise your name, God. Hallelujah. Glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We praise you. We praise you. Oh, we bless your name. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Well, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We welcome you to a time of worship. I am your host. Bishop Darrell Towns. Amen. God bless you, Sister Tawana. I am your host, Bishop Darrell Towns. We welcome you to a time of worship. Amen. We praise God for you joining us this evening. Amen. On Super Bowl Sunday, we praise God. Hallelujah. Although I'm not a sports fan. Amen. But I am a Jesus fan. Amen. And we thank God for Jesus and all that he's done for me. My soul does cry out, hallelujah, and I thank God for saving me. Well, I praise God, amen, for being on the airways one more time, amen. We bless God for being on the airways. Before we get going too far, we want to go to the Lord in prayer, and then we're going to make some announcements, so get you a pen and paper, amen. Miss you too, Tawana. We're going to have to get together real soon, amen. Get a pen and paper, and praise God. I want to give you some information, amen, amen. I'll give you some information. Praise God, that will bless your heart. But let's go to the Lord in prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you today, God. We thank you for this hour and this time of worship. We praise God for Jesus who have died for us. We bind the enemy in all of his cause. We come against every foul spirit. In the name of Jesus, every interruption, we bind it and we come against it in Jesus' name. And God, we thank you, God, for those who of you, those who will be a part of this ministry today. And God, we ask that you bless them above and beyond measure. Even those who are viewing even now, God, open doors for them, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, whatever the needs are, God, we stand in agreement the needs are being met. Even now, God, and we give you the praise and we give you the glory. In Jesus' name, it is so. Amen. Praise the name of God. Uh, first of all, I just want to say uh, we thank God for uh, the sponsors that God has blessed us to achieve. Amen. To keep this ministry going and keep this on the airways on our Ustream channel. Amen. www.ustreamtv. We thank God. Amen. For our uh, praise God for our uh, uh, praise God for our those who view this channel on our Ustream uh, network. And uh, we praise God for our 
amen, for one of our, our first and only, so far, one of our first uh, uh, sponsor, amen, uh, the Molina Home Improvement, amen. Molina Home Improvement is one of our sponsors now, and we thank God for him. So if you're in the Passaic County, Bergen County area, and you need a home improvement, Amen. You need restoration of interior and exterior. You need additions, framing, painting, roofing, plumbing, electric kitchen and bathroom renovations, uh, ceramic tiles, stucco, whatever you need. Amen. He's licensed, fully insured, and he gives free estimates. Amen. You can reach him. You can reach uh, Nesta Molina, the owner and property here, at 201-289-0600. That's 201-289-0600. It's one of our sponsors, and we thank God for Molina Home Improvements, and we praise God for him. Amen. We thank God for that business that so graciously decided to sponsor, to be one of our sponsors, and continue to support this ministry. Amen. Also, too, on February the 11th, which is Saturday evening, February the 11th, at 8 p.m., amen, our prayer line will be open. Our new prayer line will be open. Amen. Breakthrough Deliverance prayer line will be open. Amen. Uh, at 8 p.m. on February the 11th. That dialing number, praise God, that dialing number is 712-775-7460. That's 712-775-7460. Use access code 899-330. That's 899-330. Three three zero. Now, if you have a need and you know somebody needs prayer, needs somebody to touch and agree, give them the number. Tell them to dial in on Saturday evening, 8 p.m. Amen. We're going to be bombarding heaven. Amen. Along with my prayer partners. Amen. And our moderator, our brand new moderator from Kentucky. Amen. Our evangelist, Lovey Allen. Amen. Is I'll be our moderator. Amen. On our prayer line. And we thank God for evangelists. Praise the name of God. What was that, sweetheart? Yes. So we praise God for our evangelist, Lovey Allen, who's our moderator. Amen. For our prayer line. Yes. Yes. So we praise God for our evangelists all the way from Kentucky. Uh, bless God for our Sister Rosie Garvin. God bless you, Sister Rosie. Amen. Uh, also visit our... Uh, uh, our website, our ministry website, which is worship word and P-R-A-I dot Wix site, W-I-X, S like Sam, I-T-E dot com backslash tabernacle. That's word, worship, word and P-R-A-I dot Wix site, W-I-X, S like Sam, I-T-E dot com backslash tabernacle. Go there and visit our website. Guaranteed you'll be blessed. You need to get your praise on. There's some music there you can get your praise on. Amen. See our structure, our ministry structure there, our chief apostle, and those are there. Amen. You can be blessed on our website. There is a spot there, the O2 there, where you can leave me a message letting me know that you've been there and that you were blessed by the website. Also, our email address, praise the name of God, is worship word and praise tabernacle at outlook.com. That's worship word and praise tabernacle at outlook.com. Uh, drop me an email. Let me know you're viewing. Let me know you're enjoying the broadcast. Let me know that you're enjoying the broadcast. So important to me that I know this. Amen. So that I can stay on the airways. Amen. Praise God for this. And like, like this uh, live stream on Facebook. Hit the like button. Amen. And like this live stream so that Facebook knows. Amen. That you're being blessed. Amen. So we thank God. We keep these announcements in mind. We're going to try to get to them near the end of the broadcast. But amen. We thank God for our, our, we give honor to our first lady, our leading lady, Evangelist Barbara P. Sykes Towns. We thank God for her who sits by my side every Sunday and every day. Amen. And we thank God for her. Amen. We praise God for Evangelist Barbara P. Sykes Towns. Amen. My lead, the leading lady of this ministry. Amen. The leading lady of the state of New Jersey, where I preside. Amen. As the presiding bishop of the state of New Jersey. Under the leadership, amen, of our uh, chief apostle, who we give honor and reverence to. And we thank God for our chief apostle all the way from Jacksonville, Florida. I speak none other than our apostle L.E. Boston. 
amen, from the Victoria International Fellowship of Churches out of Jacksonville, Florida. We thank God for our chief apostle, amen, a blessed man of God, a man of God who has stood by my side, a man of God that has encouraged me, amen, down through the years that I've been in ministry. And we thank God for him and we pray blessings on him. And we definitely had to give him a definite shout out today because we praise God for our chief apostle. We also thank God for our first assistant, our Bishop Billy Perry. We thank God for him and we praise God for him as well. We also, if you're in the Hackensack area, amen, you, you live in the Hackensack, Bergen County, Passaic County area, looking for a church to praise the Lord, amen. Join me, amen, as I join in worship with our prevailing rock ministries, amen, under the leadership and pastorship of Elder William Spellman, amen. The church is located at 293 Passaic Street, Hackensack, New Jersey, 07601. That's 293 Passaic Street, Hackensack, New Jersey. I'm there every Sunday. Never know when I'm preaching. He doesn't let us know. Amen. But I'm there every Sunday. Some Sundays I'm the preacher of the hour. So join me there. Fellowship with us there at 293 Passaic Street, Prevailing Rock Ministries. We worship, word, and praise. Tabernacle Church Ministries are fellowshipping and joining in worship with our Pastor William Spellman. We thank God for Pastor Spellman and the Prevailing Rock Ministries. So join us there on Sundays at 12 p.m. Amen. 12 p.m. is worship service. 11, 11, uh, 15, 11, 15, 11 o'clock. Amen. Is Sunday school. Wednesday night is Bible study at 7.30. And then Friday night. Amen. He has a Holy Ghost time on Friday night on the Friday night service at 7.30. So join them at any time. Amen. I'm there every other Friday night. Worship Word of Praise Tabernacle is there every Friday, every other Friday night. I join in with him on Friday nights. Amen. We thank God. Amen. Praise God for our first assistant joining the broadcast. Amen. God bless your first assistant. Amen. We thank God for Bishop Billy, Bishop B. M. Perry out of Greensboro, North Carolina. We thank God for him and we praise God for him. We go. I tell you, I, I thank God for my leaders. Amen. They do support us and we thank God for the support. Amen. And we thank God for them. Amen. I tell you, I, I, I just can't say enough about my chief apostle. I just love him so dearly. Amen. I love him so much. He's been such a blessing to this ministry. And the Victoria Fellowship has been a blessing to this ministry. Amen. We know we're coming up in June. If I, if I got the text correctly, amen, we're going to be honoring and, 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 and honoring our chief apostle. And of, of all the years that he's been in ministry, he's going to be celebrating his years in ministry. Amen. I wish I could be there, but time and money, and of course, care of the wife does not afford me to travel at this moment. But we thank God for our chief apostle and we speak blessings upon him. Amen. Praise God. Uh, that's, uh, that's, that's all the announcements I have at this moment. Don't forget the prayer line will be open on Saturday evening at 8 p.m. Dial in number 712-775-7460. Use the access code of 899-330. Amen. I will be giving that again and near the end of broadcast. Amen. If you have your Bibles, turn with me. Amen. Praise the name of God. Yes. If you have your Bibles, uh, turn with me on next Sunday. Amen. Because I didn't prepare for this Sunday, but next Sunday, join me on the broadcast. Get your bread, get your wine. We're going to break bread together and share the broken body of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ on next Sunday. But the Bible says, as often as you do it, you do it unto me. So it doesn't matter which Sunday you do it. doesn't matter how many times you do it. Amen. As long as you do it. So next Sunday, we're going to break bread together. Amen. We're going to share the broken body and drink the, the shed blood. Amen. Of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, on next Sunday. So get to the supermarket. Get, get what you need to have. Get your matzo cracker. Get your juice. Amen. We're going to be blessing it and turning it from the natural into the spiritual. And we're going to break bread on next Sunday. If you have your Bibles, turn with me. Amen. Second Chronicles. I'm sorry, Second Corinthians. Hallelujah. Second Corinthians. I'm excited about the word. Second Corinthians chapter five. Second Corinthians chapter five. I want to talk from the subject just for a moment. Amen. Faith versus common sense. Faith versus common sense. Amen. Second Corinthians chapter five, verse seven. It says these words. For we walk by faith not by sight. Amen. For we walk by faith, not by 
sight. Then Hebrews chapter 11, praise the name of God. Hebrews chapter 11, amen, verses 1 uh, says these words. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Going down to verse 3, through faith, we understand that the world were framed by the word of God. For first, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Our base scripture today's evening is Second Chronicles, Second Corinthians, Second Corinthians chapter five, verse seven. For we walk by faith and not by sight. When we look at the word faith and common sense, we must realize that faith and common sense, uh, there is no comparison. Uh, for faith is in the realm of the spiritual, and common sense is in the realm of the natural. Uh, and you cannot bring the spiritual into the natural. For the Bible says in 2 Corinthians uh, 2 and 14, 1 Corinthians 2 and 14, amen, if you allow me to turn there for a quick second, uh, 1 Corinthians 2 and 14, it says these words, but the natural man receives not the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness unto him, neither can he know them, because they are spiritually Discern. So the natural cannot come into the spiritual realm. Amen. So what is the natural and what is the spiritual? Well, first of all, <coughs> let us look at the natural for a moment. For in the natural, things can be seen, things can be felt, things can be smelled, things can be uh, touched. Amen. But we know that a chair is there uh, because Amen. We see it. We know it's there because we can feel it. We know it's there. Things that are natural or tangible can be seen, can be felt, and sometimes even smelled. And beloved, we have so many people walking by sight. Amen. Walking by what they see or what is in front of them. Uh, we got people walking so many times. I'm talking about people who are believers and saints of God. They're walking by what they see. Uh, I don't. They're sitting, looking at the bank account, and the money is not where it should be, or there's not enough money there to pay a bill. And I don't know what I'm going to do. Oh, praise the Lord! Look at the cupboard and see if the cupboard is bare. I don't know how I'm going to eat. Walking by what we see. But the Bible declared this evening that we walk, we should walk by faith and not by sight. God bless you, my God, daughter Natanya. Amen. But when we look at the woman with the issue of blood, uh, we see a woman who did not walk by what she saw or what she thought, what she might thought was there. For if she did, she would not receive, she would not have received a healing. If she walked by what the doctors had told her, if she walked by what the diagnosis was, she would not have received a healing. First of all, the doctors gave her up to die. Oh, bless his name. See, I've been here. This message is very relevant to my life. Uh, you see, the doctors gave her up to die. Uh, then, uh, uh, the, the, but the Bible says that she went to every doctor she could be. And nothing they could do for her. Secondly, she had an eternal illness. Uh, and thirdly, she had an uncurable illness. And the day gave her no hope of life. I remember eight years ago, praise the Lord, when my wife uh, uh, cro almost crossed over into death land, so to speak. Doctors gave me no hope. Doctors gave me nothing to, 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 to put my hope upon. But I trusted in the name of the Lord. See, yes, common sense says, prepare your will. Common sense says, make funeral arrangements. Uh, common sense says, get the insurance policy ready. Uh, for sickness that you have right now, lady, is incurable. Uh, woman with this, your blood, it's time to pick out your casket and get your grave plot. Because that illness that you have right now is incurable. Uh, the doctors have thrown up their hands and said, there's nothing I can do for you. Uh, so now, uh, just wait on the death angel. 
But but she looked beyond what is and she began to look at what will be. But the scripture said that she said, if I but touch, oh, bless his name. If I but touch the hem of his garment. God bless you, Bishop Atkins. If I but touch the hem of his garment, I know I'll be made whole. Beloved, faith kicked in and she began to see in the spiritual. Beloved, here where the saints of God has a problem. They cannot get beyond what is in front of them. They cannot get beyond the natural. They cannot get beyond what's before them. And they began to speak words of doubt and unbelief. But the Bible declared that life and death is in the power of the tongue. Well, I don't think uh, it will work out. Uh, I don't think uh, I'm going to make it. Uh, I don't think I'm going to get well. But we got to look at the fact that Jesus is a healer. If we just believe, if we just hang on to his unchanging hand and walk by what we know the word of God says. For the Bible declared in Isaiah, I believe it's 55, says he was bruised for my iniquities. Mm -hmm. The chastisement of my peace was upon him. And with his stripes, I am healed. We got to begin to walk by faith and not by sight. I know sometimes it gets hard and I know sometimes it gets tough. But I just want to let you know, beloved, and encourage your hearts this evening to hold on to the word of God. For the word of God works and the word of God will bring you out every time. Just hang on to the word of God. I heard the songwriter say, hold to God's unchanging hand. Lie, hold on to his unchanging hand. Hold on to God's unchanging hand and don't let go. For God will come through every time. If you just walk by faith. For well, what is faith? The Bible declared faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. You got to walk by faith. You got to walk by what the word says. You got to walk by what you believe is right in the word. If Jesus said it, then I got to believe it. For the woman of the issue of blood said, if I could just get to Jesus, if I could just touch his him, I don't want to look on his face. I don't want to touch his hand. I don't want to say touch his head. I just want to touch the hem of his garment. And I know that I will be made whole. All you got to do is touch the hem of God's garment and touch the hem of his garment. And I declare faith will unlock the door. Faith uh, will unlock the door. Faith will make a way um, where there seemed to be no way. Um, when the doctors give up, um, faith will kick in um, and say, I know a God that heals. Um, when the bills are due, um, faith will kick in um, and say, the God I live, um, the God that I serve, um, he will bless me coming in um, and he'll bless me going out um, and my bills will be paid. Uh, for I know my God is the Jehovah Jireh, the God that will provide. I declare to you today, walk by faith and not by sight. Hold on to God's unchanging hand. Walk by faith and not by sight. Because God will provide. He'll make a way in the valley. We'll make a way on the mountaintop. He'll make a way, God. We'll make a way. When your gas car run out of gas um, and there's no gas station in view, uh, if you just hold on to God, uh, he'll get you to the gas station uh, because God is the Jehovah Jireh, uh, the God that will provide. Uh, when your peace, uh, oh my God from Zion, uh, when your peace uh, is all disturbed, uh, I heard the Bible said uh, he's Jehovah Shalom, uh, the God of peace, uh, the God that gives you peace uh, that the world cannot give. Uh, just hold on to faith, for faith will see you through. Faith will bring you through every time. Faith will unlock doors. Faith will take you through every time. Faith, faith will take you through. Oh, praise it. Oh, hallelujah. Faith will take you through. All you got to do is hold on. Just hold on. Hold on. Just hold on. Hold on. Because help is on the way. Hold on, but doors will swing open. Hold on, but help was on the way. But faith is a substance of things that you're hoping for. What are you hoping for? 
Well, Brother Bishop, I'm hoping for some money. I'm hoping for a brand new car. I'm hoping for divine health. Just hang on in there. Faith says you're healed. Faith says you're delivered. Faith says you're riding. Faith says you're prosperous. prosperous. And all you need to do is confess the word over your life. Speak over your life. For the Bible declared that you're blessed going in and you're blessed going out. All you got to do is speak over your life. Hallelujah. Speak over your life. Faith versus common sense. Walk by faith, beloved, and not by sight. Hold on to God's hands and don't let go. For God will see you through. I'm a living witness. I know he will. I know God will see you through. I've been homeless. I've been broke. Been without money. Been carless almost a year. And God is blessed with a car. Oh, bless his name. So I know if you hold on. And you trust and believe God. No matter what it looks like, God will come through. Hallelujah. God will come through. I want to share something with you as, as I close this message. Amen. Almost a year, I was taking buses back and forth to work. Getting bus cars. But every day that I left my house, every day I walked out of my building, I threw my hands up and said, thank you, Lord, for my car. And I began to praise God. See, I let my faith kick in. I began to praise God. I began to see my car. Every day I put my key in the ignition and started my car. Faith. Hallelujah. Faith without works is dead. Hallelujah. And I began to start my car every day. Every day I walked out my door, walked to my parking spot, and put my key in the ignition, sat down in my car by faith, turned my car on and pulled on off. And I want you to know, I did this for almost a year and a half. And I want you to know right now, I'm riding right now. God has blessed me with a car. I owe no man nothing but to love him. I'm telling you, faith works. Faith works. If you're dead, I trust him. If you're dead, I believe God. Faith works. It works. Just believe him. Be like the woman with the issue of blood. If I can just but touch the hem of his garment. Oh, I don't want to see him. I just want to touch him. All I want is just a, just a thread. And I declare, if you just touch that hymn, God will make a way. God will make a way. I heard the Bible said, read what the word of God said in the Old Testament. I forget the prophet's name right now. But he said, I'm going to get a hold to the horns of the altar. And I'm not going to let go till you bless me. Hallelujah. We got to get a hold to faith. And don't let go to the horns of faith until the door swings open. Hallelujah. And when it swings open, don't just walk through it. But run through it because God will make a way where there seemed to be no way. All you got to do is trust him. Just hang in there. I know it looks terrible right now. I know it may look bleak right now. It may even look discouraging right now. But just hang in there. I declare. Hang on to God's unchanging hand. I declare God will come through. I know what I'm talking about. I've been there. I've been homeless. I've been jobless. I've been broke. I've been without money. Been without food. But God came through. In the instant that I thought I was down to my last piece of bread, I got a knock on the door. And God opened and, and someone was there with some food. Hallelujah. When I thought they were going to padlock the apartment. Hallelujah. God stepped in because I dared to trust him. When I thought the death angel was going to walk off with the wife and death was going to take out. Hallelujah. Faith kicked in. Hallelujah. And I began to speak life. And she's sitting on my right. Hallelujah. On my right hand. Hallelujah. Because of faith. Because of faith. And the Bible says without faith, it is impossible to please God. It is impossible to please God. You got to have faith. Oh, bless his name. I feel the preacher down in my soul. You got to have faith. You got to stretch out on. See, it's easy to talk faith, but you got to have faith. And you got to trust and believe God. Because I'm beloved, I'm here to tell you. You can count this as a word of prophecy if you want to. But I'm here to tell you and declare to you today. If you are not walking by faith right now, you better start walking by faith. 
Because this world is getting ready to come into chaos. Things are getting ready to pop off and jump off that has never happened before. And you're going to have to kick in your face and trust God. You got to say like grandma said. Now stretch it. Hallelujah. Remember my grandmother was in the kitchen cooking and stirring the pots. Didn't know much Doug was going to have enough food, I guess. I would hear grandma say, hey, stretch it, Lord. Oh, stretch it, Lord. Stretch it, Lord. Hallelujah. You're going to have that kind of faith to believe God in these last days. In these last four years. Mm. These upcoming years, you're going to have to have the faith to believe God. To stretch that $100 bill. Stretch that $50 bill. Stretch it, Lord. Oh, God. Keep my lights on, God, till you bless me with the money. Stretch it, Lord. You're going to have to stretch out on faith. This is a faith walk. And God is going to try you on your faith. You got to walk by faith. And not by sight. Walk by what you believe. Walk by what the word of God says over your life and for your life. And I declare, doors will open for you. Doors will open for you. Maybe you've been viewing the broadcast. And you don't know Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. I want to give you the opportunity right now to accept our Savior, this Jesus that I'm talking about, as your personal Savior. Praise the name of God. And all it takes is simply this. Simply say these words. Father, I am a sinner. Forgive me of my sin. Come into my life. Make me a new creature. And I accept Jesus as my personal Savior. And I make him Lord of my life. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus. And I thank you right now for saving me. Now, if you prayed that prayer for the first time, I want you to write me at my email address. I want to get some information to your hands to help you grow in the Lord. That email address is worship, word, and praise, tabernacle at outlook.com. That's worship, word, and praise, tabernacle at outlook.com. Write me there. Let me know you accepted Christ. For the Bible says in Romans chapter 10, if thou shalt confess with your mouth and believe in your heart, that Christ has been raised from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto salvation, and with the mouth confession is made. So go tell somebody, hallelujah, go tell somebody that you've accepted Christ as your personal Savior. And let them know that I accept the Christ, I've made him Lord of my life. Write me at my email address and put in the subject line salvation. Leave me your contact information, whether your email information or your regular mailing information, where I can mail you or get you into your hands some information where you can live and grow in the Lord. Now, if you're in the area, whether well, you're in the North Carolina area, Florida area, Georgia area, and you're looking for a church home, write me. Pennsylvania area, write me on my email address. Amen. I will get in touch. With my leaders, my chief apostle, my first assistant, I will get in touch with them and put you in contact with a church in your area. Amen. One of our one of our churches in your area where you can grow in the Lord and you can rejoice in God. I declare you'll be blessed at Victoria. Our Victoria church, if you want to, we want to praise God. We, we, we are praising church. Amen. We are praising church. So if you need a church home, you write me my email address and let me know. Put in the subject line church home. And let me know that's worship, word, and praise, event. worship, word, and praise, tabernacle, outlook.com. Write me there. Let me know you're looking for a church home. Amen. Leave your contact information so I can forward it to our leaders and those that are in leadership position where we can uh, put you in contact with the pastor in your area. Amen. Our chief apostles in Jacksonville at the Temple of Victoria. Amen. Our, our first assistants in Greensboro, North Carolina. I'm here in New Jersey. Amen. So write us. We'll, we'll, we'll put you in contact. I got no pastors all over Jersey, just about. Amen. Pennsylvania area. Amen. So write us there. And write us and let me know. Amen. Praise the name of God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We thank God. Amen. We thank God this evening. Amen. For you joining us. 
And we praise God this evening for you joining us. Listen, I just want to invite you and encourage you. Amen. One moment, sweetheart. I want to encourage you, praise the Lord. Amen. To uh, be a blessing. I'm in, I'm right now engaged in a project with the House of Prayer of the Living God out of Pennsylvania, New Jersey. Amen. I don't have the address in front of me at this moment, but I'm engaged uh, uh, with uh, the House of Prayer, uh, House of Prayer of the Living God in Pennsylvania, uh, Pastor Carol Fernandez, Prophetess Carol Fernandez. Amen. And the uh, mission she has going on there. God bless you, Evangelist Covington. Uh, the mission that she has going on there in Pennsylvania, the homeless mission. And I'm encouraging you, amen, you that will and that can. I'm asking you to send her a donation. Help her build this homeless mission in Pennsylvania, Stroudsburg, Pennsylvania. Amen. Stroudsburg, Pennsylvania. Help her build this mission. Amen. I believe that address is the House of Prayer of the Living God. I believe it's P.O. Box 37, Bushkill, Pennsylvania. Amen. Send your check of money orders there. Amen. In the name of House of Prayer of the Living God, on the bottom, on top of that money order, write a homeless mission. She needs your help. There are people living in the woods, families living in the woods, children. Hello, somebody living in the woods in the Stroudsburg, Pennsylvania area. She's trying to reach these people. <clears throat> Not only are there children living in the woods, families in the woods, there are pregnant women in the woods, women that are having babies, having children in the woods because they're afraid to come out into civilization because they've been abused and kicked so badly. So Pastor is reaching out to them and she's trying to build a mission. So I'm asking you to, to, to write her, drop her a letter of encouragement. Also send a donation. Uh, whatever God places upon your heart, to the House of Prayer of the Living God, P.O. Box 37, uh, Bushkill, Pennsylvania. I'm going to post that on my Facebook page as well, Bushkill, Pennsylvania, and let her know that, that you love her and that you're going to support her. I'm, going, I'm supporting her mission. <clears throat> I'm in the midst of preparing a gospel showcase to benefit this mission. Amen. Looking for choirs and soloists to come and be a blessing. Amen. We're still in the in the in the making. Our special guest will be the Garden State Choral Chapter. Amen. From Garden from the Garden from uh, uh, Hackensack, New Jersey, the Garden State Choral Chapter. If anybody knows anything about that, that is part of uh, 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 Professor Dorsey, the late Professor Dorsey's uh, 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 movement. So we praise God for that. <clears throat> so we're going to be doing some great things. This ministry is is presenting that. Amen. And we're going to be doing some great things with Pastor Carol Fernandez. Amen. And prayerfully, maybe sometime down the line, we'll be able to bring her on into Victoria. But for now, we're going to be working. We're working with her <coughs> and encouraging her. Amen. And encouraging her and letting her know that we love her. Amen. That we're going to work with her, the homeless people in the homeless mission there in Stroudsburg, Pennsylvania. Amen. Remember that that, that is... House of Prayer of the Living God, P.O. Box 37, I believe it is, um, Bushkill, Pennsylvania. Put on your money order or check. House of Prayer, write, it, write your money order check, make it payable to House of Prayer of the Living God. Write on that money order check, Homeless Mission. And send her a donation. Let her know that, that we're supporting her and that we love her. Amen. That we're, we're behind her 100%. This ministry is helping her. This ministry is supporting her. <coughs> Excuse me, 100%. Amen. We thank God for Pastor Carl Fernandez, my dear friend and sister. We've been in ministry together for almost 30 years. Started out in 1986, and we've been running strong ever since. So we praise God for her up in the Pennsylvania area, the Pocono Mountain. Amen. We preached up there many, many days. We had up many, many days we preached up in that mountain. Amen. To the souls up there. Souls were saved, delivered, and set free. And we thank God for the Pocono Mountain. We thank God for each and every one of you who have joined us today. Amen. Please don't forget. <coughs> praise God. Please don't forget, amen, to our prayer line. Our um, prayer line will be open on Saturday evenings at 8 p.m. Our Breakthrough Deliverance prayer line will be open on Saturday 8 p.m. by dialing 712-775-7460. Use access code 899-330. Call us to call in there. 
Give that number to someone who needs prayer. We're going to be on the line praying for the needs of God's people. <coughs> Don't forget. Amen. Visit our website page, Worship Word and P-R-A-I dot Wix site, W-I-X, S like Sam, I-T-E dot com backslash tabernacle. Amen. You can also get the link. Amen. On my Facebook page and on my church Facebook page as well. You can get there's a link there where you can uh, click on the link and go straight to my website, the church website. Amen. So we praise God today for this time of worship. We thank God for each one of you. We thank God for Bishop Atkins from Florida. <coughs> Excuse me. We thank God for Bishop Atkins from Florida. Amen. My good friend and brother. We thank God for uh, Evangelist Covington. Amen. We praise God for her out of also, I believe it's Greensboro, North Carolina as well. Our uh, first assistant, amen, Bishop Billy Perry. Amen. We thank God for my goddaughter being on, and we thank God for our sister Tawana as well. We thank God for each one of you who have joined. Those who I don't see, we praise God for you. We thank God for each one of you. We thank God for the, the trustees of this ministry, the people who support this ministry. We thank God for them. Our, our Pastor Tracy Beeman, uh, way out there in uh, Nevada. Amen. Las, Las Vegas, Nevada. We thank God for him who was a part of this ministry. Amen. We praise God for him. Amen. Who sits on my board. We thank God for his wife, leading lady Georgina Beeman. 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 And we praise God for each one. Uh, Evangelist Linda Rochester, Evangelist Linda Williams. Those are all people that sit on this board that helped me to incorporate and set aside this ministry so we can do what God has called us to do. Keep us in prayer. <clears throat> pray for this ministry. Pray for me. Amen. Pray for my companion. Amen. My beloved, my beloved, beautiful wife. Amen. Who I love so dearly. Amen. I thank God for her. Amen. I tell you, she's a blessing and she's so supportive, very supportive to this ministry. I know when nobody will say amen, she's my amen corner. Mm -hmm. So we thank God for her and we praise God for her. Amen. We know it's a, we know we praise God for each one of y'all. We're getting ready to leave your air but never from the presence of God. We praise God for you. Maybe you have a need. Before I leave, I want to pray. Maybe you have a need in your life. <clears throat> Maybe you're going through something right now. Maybe you have, a, you, you have a burden on your heart. Maybe you need some clarity and direction for your ministry. I'm going to pray right now. Just stretch your hand towards your screen. Don't touch it. If you have a touch, touch screen, don't touch it. Just stretch your hand towards the screen. Let's touch and agree. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you right now for those who are viewing, those who have a need in their life. God, we have healing. God, let healing take place from the crown of their head to the soles of their feet. We release the heat of healing upon them right now. We release finances into their life right now. In the name of Jesus, those who may need direction, oh God, we release it, oh God. Because you said a righteous man's steps is ordered by you. So God, we ask that you order the steps of those who need clarity and direction. We say, if you lack wisdom to ask of you. So God, we thank you right now. And we give you the praise. Bless now in Jesus' name. Each one that are viewing in the name of Jesus. We give you the glory and we give you the honor. And we ask it now. We declare and decree it so. It is so in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the name of God. God bless you. Thank you so much for tuning in to a time of worship. I'm your host, Bishop Darrell Towns, New Jersey State Bishop for the Victoria International. Fellowship of Churches under the leadership of Apostle L.E. Boston and Bishop B.M. Perry. We thank God for each one of you joining us today. And we praise God for you joining us today. Remember, you don't have any trouble. All you need is faith in God. So don't drown. Don't sing. Tie a knot in the end of the rope and hold on to God's unchanging hand. For help and your change is already on the way. God bless you. We love you is our prayer. Goodbye for now. See you next Sunday, 7.30 p.m., right here, Facebook Live, Ustream TV. God bless.